Okay, I want to talk about Federal Reserve System and Let me get this particular out. Federal Reserve so Bank. Everybody's talking about the fact that uh, Federal Reserve has gone down to a quarter of a point. And they think that zero is the, la the least amount that they can actually do. And my premise is this, is that's not even close. The Federal Reserve uh, is a system where they make money. They create money out of air. And everybody's uh, uh, thought is that it can only go to a quarter percent. Why couldn't they go to uh, a 2% negative uh, amount of money or 5% uh, or 5 or 10%? Pay people to borrow um, the money Here's from the situation them. when we went to interest. Well, because well, right, they, 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 uh, they wouldn't be making any money, though. How, they don't need how, to make money. Um, how would they make money? They create money. Their money is created. If you get a chance to read Creature from Jekyll Island, that's a great book. It basically, it outlines what exactly the Federal Reserve System does. The Federal Reserve System says, I'm going to give you, Mr. Banker, some money. And I'm going to write you a certificate. And then you're going to go and redeem that certificate at a local Federal Reserve Bank for whatever I write on the certificate. Okay, so here's a certificate. I'm going to zoom in on that. An hour later, they this is a certificate for a billion dollars and, and she says they can't from uh, the, the Federal Reserve Bank. It's not a real certificate, obviously. I just made it up. Right. It's the same exact thing they do. They create certificates like this, and they give them to banks, and they say, this is worth a billion dollars. You pay me back a billion, fifty million dollars, and we'll be, we'll be okay. That's when it's at a 5% return. Well, now it's at a, two, uh, a quarter of a percent return. My question is, how much does... This certificate cost me to make. To yeah. To you well, the Fed's fund, the Fed funds starts at two percent, right? And so if things are now to two and a quarter now, which is where we're at, that means they lend money to the bank at two and a quarter. Correct. Right. So you're saying that even if it went down to zero, it equivalently would be they would equivalently be loaning money to the bank at two percent. If it was a negative five percent, what my my premise is this. Yeah. It's a negative five percent. Yeah. They're still making gobs of money. Look, this cost me. A quarter of a penny to make here yeah. on my color copier. If they put it with gold leaf and they made, they put $150 in there. They're de redeeming this mm -hmm. for a billion dollars. They've yeah. got $150 in a sheet of paper. Yeah. That's what it create. That's what they that costs yeah. them to but create all, this money. But if all money doesn't have value, then the whole system is debunked. Anyway, and, and then whoever has the gold left. The reality is, this is what our system <laughs> is. Right. Our system does not have value. The, the Federal Reserve creates pieces of paper like this and yeah. sends it out to the, the banks, and the banks redeem the, yeah. the local Federal Reserve banks for money right. that have nothing but. Right. The and it's still, right, and it's still all on paper because it's not like when they do a billion dollar loan package or seven hundred billion dollar bailout, they don't hit the speed up button on the printing press. It's all just printed on paper that we you, you now owe us more money. It's just paper. It just costs them a few. Mi micro cents on the dollar. Yeah. Literally, you know, tenths of cents on the dollar. But they're putting people more in debt. So in relation, if they're paying people more in debt, so they're more like a, almost a slave to the Federal Reserve. So, but in relation to that, is there any? Hard, are there any hard assets that you would recommend? So, so the reality is, instead of instead of buying stocks, instead of buying bonds, instead of buying pieces of paper that have no intrinsic value, too, I appreciate you invest that. in either hard commodities or something like real estate. Real estate is a commodity that actually that it has intrinsic value, that actually you will have something when everything else yeah, falls apart. You're going to have a building, you're going to have an apartment, you're going to have a single family home. There's something that is there that you will have when everything goes up, goes away. Instead of a stock certificate in your 401k that says that you are worth a million and a half dollars that goes by the way of Madoff, uh, Madoff and, and now, oh, by the way, you don't have a million and a half dollars anymore, you have nothing. And we're real sorry. Right. You know, we'll see what we can get for you. Uh, yeah. Not to not to not to even uh, talk about other uh, investment firms uh, or uh, like E Trade. What do they call them? What are those? Uh, like uh, they call those uh, stock brokerage firms. Mutual funds, stock brokerage. Right. Brokerage, brokerage firms. firms they are uh, E Trade is trading at like a buck and a quarter now, and they're on the verge of bankruptcy. Okay. So what happens to all that money? I mean, what happens to all these people with what their security? What if you have all your stocks through E Trade? What about that? What, what, what happens to your stocks? Do they remain your stocks? Do you have a certificate or do you just have an account with E-Trade? Yeah. You know, the point is you don't have anything unless you have something with intrinsic value. If you yeah. have a, a piece of real estate, then you may have something. If you yeah. don't, you're not going to have anything. And speaking of real estate, uh, are there good buys now? Is this a good time relative to, you think? This uh, is unbelievable.
you're, yeah. you're still now buying uh, stuff at 30 to 40 cents on the dollar from where it was in 2005. And even if it drops a little bit more, um, you're always going to have something that's going to make you money because you can rent them out for positive cash flow. You can right. rent them out for you know for some return on your investment. Yeah. Where I don't know what would you give me for this piece of paper. So, <laughs> anyway, call us at um, a number right there on our on our eight eight eight. Zoom in on that number, would you, George? Yeah. Three five. Well, it's hard. I got the chair in the way. <clears throat> Here we go. I'll just grab it. Call us here, 888-727-3557. And uh, if you can, thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye.